This is our moon. It orbits around the Earth in a never-ending counterclockwise cycle, making one full rotation in about 29 days. It has existed for billions of years and is one feature that everyone has noticed in the clear night sky. Although it is bright in the sky, the moon does not actually create its own light. Instead, the light we see coming from the moon is simply the light of the sun being reflected from its surface. It's because of this reflection and the moon's orbit around the Earth that we see the moon a little differently each night we go outside. First, it is important to understand that the sun always illuminates half of the moon, but on Earth we cannot always see the entire half. If this is true, then why do we see the moon differently day to day? Let's dive into this concept and get a better understanding of the moon's phases by doing a demonstration. Here we have set up a light source representing the sun, the camera will be the Earth, and the baseball will represent the moon. When the moon is between the Earth and the sun, the section of the moon that is illuminated is on the side of the sun. This means that we on Earth cannot see the moon at all because the light is on the opposite side. We call this the new moon. The next day, the moon has moved in its orbit around the Earth, and as a result, we are able to see a small sliver of light on the right side. We call this the waxing crescent. Waxing means that the moon will get illuminated more and more until it has become a full moon, and the crescent means the amount of light visible is less than half we can see from Earth. And as the moon continues to orbit around the Earth, we will continue to see more and more of the Earth illuminated on its right side. Once the moon has gotten to the point where we can see half of it illuminated from Earth, we call this the first quarter. You might be wondering why it's called the first quarter and not the first half. In order to understand this, let's shift our view to, into outer space. The moon is a three-dimensional object, not just a flat figure that appears to be in the sky. When the moon is in this position, we can see that half of it is illuminated, like always, but from Earth we can only see half of the half. The back part of the moon is not visible to us from the Earth, but it is still part of the moon. So when we see a view like this, we only see a quarter of the moon illuminated. Continuing to the next day, more of the moon will be illuminated. We now have a waxing gibbous. A gibbous simply means the amount of light visible is greater than the half we can see from, from Earth, but less than completely lit. Once it does reach the point of being fully illuminated, we call this a full moon. It always happens when the Earth is directly between the sun and the moon. As we continue with the moon's orbit, the light will slowly start to fade. This phenomenon is called waning. The moon will now become a waning gibbous. As it continues, it will eventually reach the third quarter stage where we see the left half of the moon illuminated. Then the light we will see will be less than half and become a waning crescent until finally it has returned to the new moon phase. Thank you for watching this video of our moon and its phases, and we hope you enjoy and continue exploring the concepts of astronomy.